Now that we've installed a version of the Java Development Kit, we can start writing Java programs. You can write Java code in any simple text editor, which we'll see in a bit. Then to run these programs, you'll need to use a terminal window, which looks like this. The terminal is an application that lets you give your computer commands. It's also sometimes called a command line, prompt, or shell. I'm going to close this window and show you how to find it and open up the terminal on your own computer. The terminal can be found by going to your Applications folder, then navigating to your Utilities folder. And it's in here, this application named Terminal. And you can click on it to open it. You can also do a simple spotlight search of the word Terminal and click on the correct application when it pops up. And once you've opened the terminal, it should look like this. You can see the time that you last logged in, and a username here, which for my computer is Udacity. And then I can start typing commands. For my first command, I'm just going to ask my computer what version of Java it has installed. This way, I can make sure that I've installed the correct version. To check what version of Java is installed, I just type Java, a space, then dash version. And you should see something like this. It shows me my version of Java, which is a version of Java 8. And as of the time of this recording, May 19th, 2016, this is the latest version. It tells me I have this runtime environment and also this Java VM. And VM stands for virtual machine. So this looks good. And if you don't see this or see something like a Java version not found message, then go back to the instructions for installing the Java development kit and try installing again or troubleshooting from there. We'll need to have the Java Development Kit installed before we move forward and write our own programs, so make sure you complete this step before you continue.